I'm so excited because I have ordered online some of the best sources of carbohydrates. You can't get them in the supermarket as readily as you can online. So I will show you in my YouTube video what they are, how you can incorporate it into your diet and preferably also how you can eat them as part of my one, two, three healthy eating approach. So watch my YouTube channel and take your health to another level. So I'm so excited to show you my high quality carbohydrates because a carbohydrate is not just a carbohydrate, it's the quality, it's not just the quantity. And there we are, we buy all this white rice and we eat potatoes and uh, you know we buy brown rice, which is still better than white rice. But if you want to go all in and you really want to take your health to another level, then you want to you know, consider changing your carbohydrate to some of the better ones. So let me show you what I've got. I ordered all of this online on eBay and I'm going to go through each and every one with you and explain why they're good. And finally my pasta. Now I ordered a lot. <laughs> um, I love pasta but the thing is, uh, you know, you can sort of over consume on pasta and if you are a bit like me, you get really bloated when you have pasta then you probably may want to try this lentil and quinoa pasta oh and it's um it's basically made from quinoa and red lentil flour so really great source of fiber and protein as you can see there so it's going to be um low gi first of all and so slow release carbohydrates and great source of fiber, great source of your nine essential amino acids as well because of the quinoa in there. Um, and um, it just, I mean, can you get better than that, really? Uh, your ordinary pasta is, is still, you know, I'm not saying it's not good for you, um, but if you want to take your health to another level, which is why I'm here and you're why you're probably listening to this video, then why not try something new? lentil and quinoa pasta. I bought this off eBay. Now, I have done a separate video on the black rice so if you haven't looked up that video I would strongly recommend you do because I'm actually cooking my black rice sensational recipe. It is incredible um, and black rice is also known as forbidden rice and that's because in ancient China only royalty was allowed to eat it because of the high nutritional content, the high amount of antioxidants um, and that's the anthocyanin in there, which is giving it basically this beautiful color. When you cook it, you'll see it will be purple. Uh, so it's a bit like, you know, your, your blueberries or your, um, um, you know, your, your blueberries contain a lot of antioxidants and it's that anthocyanin, which you also have in here. Fantastic. And the GI, the glycemic index is 42, which is extremely, extremely, extremely low. It will help you to stabilize your blood sugars. It will keep you full for longer. It will prevent you from feeling really hungry five minutes later after you've eaten. Great source of whole grain, obviously great source of iron and fiber too. I have cooked this once and I'm never ever going back to ordinary rice. Red rice. Now this beauty is rich in iron. 5.5 gram of iron per 100 gram cooked weight. Now that's more than double than what's in ordinary rice. So if you're a vegetarian, vegan, um, or if you are suffering with low iron, then why not try this? And also because it's whole grain, it's going to do your body so good. It's going to keep you fuller for longer. It's going to keep your bowels nice and healthy. If you have diabetes type one or type two or gestational diabetes, it will help you to maintain good blood sugar levels. Obviously it's also about the quantity as well as the quality. This rice is also rich in protein. So, if you are taking your health to another level, why not try red rice? You cook it the same way. And because of the red color in there, which is natural, by the way, yeah, it's also a great source of antioxidants. Buckwheat. I am so, I mean, seriously, look at this beauty. I'm going to cook an amazing meal out of this, so stay tuned to that. Now, buckwheat. Don't get fooled by the name. 
but wheat is actually gluten free. It's not wheat, it's a seed. So it's a bit like quinoa. It's got your nine essential amino acids that the body doesn't make. So we need to get it through foods. And one of them being buckwheat and the other obviously also your quinoa. Now the GI, the glycemic index of this uh, buckwheat is 49, which is super, super low. So it's going to help you again to keep you fuller for longer, do your body um, a well of goodness, particularly if you have diabetes, it's going to help you to stabilize your blood sugars. And even if for those of us who don't have diabetes, we need to do our body a favor and not fluctuate uh, in what we eat and the quality of what we eat because it will fluctuate your blood sugars and that's also a cause of diabetes so be good to yourself from the inside out try some buckwheat not just rich in amino acids but also rich in fiber man manganese and protein and it's gluten-free finally this is so exciting my quinoa flakes so for those of you who know me or if you don't know me I am not keen on people just having cereal for breakfast. One food group for breakfast is not healthy for your body. Please watch my YouTube video, The Cereal Effect. I explain in there why we must not start the day with just carbohydrates. So if you're a porridge fan, now I've got this on purpose because I meet a lot of people who love their porridge and it does work for some, but for most people it doesn't. Porridge is obviously just carbohydrates. If you added nuts to it, great, you're increasing your protein content. But look at this, quinoa is a good source of carbs and protein. And it's got your nine essential amino acids in because quinoa is a seed. So what you could do is, why not try quinoa porridge? Low GI is gonna keep you fuller for longer. And it's got, it's got actually almost double as much protein as your ordinary porridge will have.